So today I'm showing you a painting of the water pitcher with the grapes and the pear. Um, I worked through this in about 30 minutes. Um, I sped up the video for you so you don't have to watch me paint the entire thing, but I'll just tell you a couple of the colors that I was using um, and how I kind of went about it. So um, for the grapes, I was using um, phthalo blue and uh, Viennese red, and then I also was using um, like a reddish color. It says red hue, but it looks more magenta in the tube. Um, I also was using a little bit of lavender, which you may not have, so you could just use um, white. And that was giving me a good color for the grapes. Uh, my grapes look a little bit more purple than the grapes in the picture, but I kind of liked how that was going, so I think I'm going to leave them a little bit more purple. Um, so I started some of the grapes with some of the lighter values, um, and then as I would just move around and paint all the light values at once. Um, and then I kind of went around and added in some of those darker values and then went back and um, put in some of those um, mid-tones in between. So that's kind of how I worked through on those grapes. So the next thing that I started working on because I had that dark kind of purplish color on there is I started putting that shadow on the left side of the water pitcher um, because I had a darker value on my paintbrush. So I started um, working on that dark shadow underneath there and then um, there's a shadow underneath the handle too so I wanted to make sure I got that in and then I'm just adding in a couple highlights to make it look like there's something there. Um, then I moved down to the bottom of the water pitcher and when I first started I was getting a really magenta looking um, dark value um, so eventually I went back and changed that a little bit but at this point, since I was just starting out, I was just trying to get some darker values kind of fading into that lighter white on the left. And then there's a darker shadow that comes um, underneath the pear on the right there. So next I moved right into painting um, the pear because I had some of that Venetian red on my brush and I wanted to pull that onto the left side of the pair like it is in the picture. There's like an orangish reddish spot there. Um, so I started moving along the bottom and I decided to do the dark shadow along the back of the pair um, again because that's what I had on my brush so that made sense um, as I moved along. And then um, I actually have this uh, light green color. It's called it's called brilliant yellow green. So instead of adding white into um, those dark values, I started using that instead, um, and I liked the way that was kind of giving it um, like almost like a like a tealish looking um, green color in there for the um, kind of like the mid tone above that dark shadow in the pear. Um, then I started putting in some of the lighter areas that I was seeing. Um, I didn't love how that um, orange area was looking, so I was kind of playing around with adding in some yellow and adding in some white um, to try to get that to look the way I wanted it to. And then up on the right side where the highlight is, um, I was using that brilliant yellow green mixed with cadmium yellow and that seemed to make a pretty good pair of color. Uh, there is also some uh, Venetian red added on the, the top right of the pair too. If you, can, if you look at the picture, you'll see there's kind of that area there on the right side of the top of it. So I was kind of putting that together to get those different values added into the pair. was I put um, some of the the color underneath the pair on the table. I just wanted to get that shadow in there and um, put some background in there so it didn't look exactly like it was floating in space. Um, that's something you could do with this too is work on the background. I just didn't get to it yet and the colors that I had on my brush 
weren't going to go in the background. So, um, but you, there's a darker shadow right underneath the pear, and then the table is pretty uh, red. All the background has a really warm tint to it, which actually casts a really warm tint onto the water pitcher. So here's the final picture of what I ended up with today.